Hey everybody, it's low carb and keto nutrition specialist, Amy Berger, bringing you the one and only keto without the crazy. I am a keto and low carb oriented nutritionist and writer. I try to help people see just how simple keto can be when you remove all of the unnecessary overcomplication. People are very intimidated by keto. They think there's so many moving parts when the truth is it really is so simple. This may be a shocker for some people. I was not born a keto nutritionist. I got into this the way a lot of other people do. I used to be heavier and I was heavier despite doing what I thought were all the right things. I was eating a low fat diet. I was eating high fiber cereal with skim milk for breakfast. And I, I would get the frozen fried chicken, but I would bake it in the oven instead of frying it. Oh no, no oil for me. And I could not lose weight no matter what I did. And I, I was even in the air force, you know, I'm not afraid of a hard workout. The weight would not budge. And after years and years of beating myself up and blaming myself and feeling like a failure, I stumbled upon the Atkins diet. That's how I entered into the world of low carb and keto. My mother bought Dr. Atkins new diet revolution at a yard sale. This was, the internet may have existed at the time, but it was a baby internet. This is people still had yard sales. And I read the book and it just made sense to me. And lo and behold, I tried it and it worked. Like many other people, keto did not stick the first time. I started and stopped and started and stopped a few times before this just became the way that I eat and the way that I live permanently. So if, if anyone out there is in that situation, you are very much not alone. I don't know many people at all who learned about keto and just did it and never looked back. Many of us had to come back to it a few times before it stuck. But uh, to make a, an even longer story a little shorter, after having benefited from this, I was so fascinated by the science and so interested in how is this working? How am I doing so many things that are the opposite of what I've been told all these years to do, right? I was eating more fat. I was eating plenty of red meat. You know, I wasn't eating all those healthy whole grains. How, how is this working? I started just researching more of the science on my own, becoming more and more intrigued by it. And I was in and out of a lot of jobs that I really didn't like. And it occurred to me, hey, hey, wait a minute, nutritionist is a career. Maybe I could do that and I could help other people learn about this awesome low carb way of eating. So I went back to school for nutrition and I've um, been doing this ever since. And one thing I always like to, to mention when I tell this story is that even though I started in all of this from my own personal weight loss, what I've learned about the power of carbohydrate restriction, whether you call it low carb, keto, whatever flavor of this that you do, it is so remarkable for so many other things besides losing weight. I mean, you can literally, you can reverse type two diabetes. You can reverse PCOS, non-alcoholic fatty liver. If you have type one diabetes, you can control your blood sugar much better than you ever have before. Migraines, acne, gout, you name it, the thing, gets much better or goes away. And oh, oh right, you, you might also lose a few pounds along the way. I still help people lose weight in my career as a nutritionist, but I also um, really like to emphasize all of these other amazing things that happen on keto. When I first learned about keto chow, I was a little bit disappointed. I said, oh, Oh, just this is the last thing the world needs is these, these meal shakes and these keto powders. Like, why can't people just eat food? Just eat a burger patty, like, come on. But I have come around because not only is keto chow absolutely delicious, but in, in my work as a nutritionist who I, I do consultations, I have had requests from people who needed liquid meals. They were preparing food for an elderly relative, or maybe there was someone in a situation if they couldn't chew very well, or they needed something very easy to digest. It is the perfect thing to recommend. And I feel so fortunate to have a product to be able to recommend in those situations that I trust. Uh, because you, you know it's very low in carbohydrate, it's delicious, you can make it several days in advance. So again, just the example of someone being a caregiver 
for an elderly loved one or not even an elderly, just anyone. You can prepare four or five shakes, stick them in the fridge. That person's good to go for a week or more. Not everybody needs it. If you just wanna eat food all the time and never have a yummy, delicious shake that tastes like Andy's mints, that tastes like chocolate mint or peanut butter or your favorite flavor under the sun, you don't need to use it, but I do think it's, it can be very um, helpful in certain situations. I rarely use it as a full meal replacement. I, I love to cook, I love to eat, so I don't usually drink one as a meal, but I like to have some keto chow on hand in the fridge for when that sweet craving hits. It's 10 p.m., it's 11 p.m. You know you're not hungry. You know you're not gonna be eating brownies anytime soon. For me, a, a swig or two or three of keto chow, or even if I make it extra thick and I'll eat it with a spoon, that takes the edge off. That's, that's my dessert, so to speak. It just, it hits the spot. It's creamy, it's sweet. That's, that's generally how I use it. I have plans to start experimenting with some recipes. I know the Keto Chow website is full of amazing recipes. They look so good. This, y'all, and I can say y'all because I'm from New York, but I've lived in North Carolina for four years now. This is what I mentioned before. This is the chocolate mint morsel of amazingness that I had from Miss Holly who works here at Keto Chow. Oh. It's got the chocolate mint keto chow. It's got like a chocolatey bottom and top. It tastes like an Andes mint or like a th like that little Girl Scout cookie that we all know what I'm talking about. If you miss that flavor, you've got to try these. When I make keto chow, I'm kind of an originalist. I'm kind of a purist. I almost always just use heavy cream. And what I really love about keto chow is that it's entirely customizable. You can, you can use more fat, you can use less fat. You know, a lot of people who come to me that are stalled in weight loss, overdoing fat is kind of a big issue. So you can still use keto chow, just use a little more water and a little less fat. But I almost always use heavy cream, but I'm going to start experimenting with coconut oil and the, the melted butter. It still kind of blows my mind that you can use butter and you can use coconut oil. It has to be melted when you first mix it up, but it does not re-solidify. If you keep it in your fridge because of the way that the keto chow uh, powder is formulated, the coconut oil and butter don't solidify, so it still stays creamy and yummy and smooth. <laughs> Simply not understanding what keto actually is, because what keto is, is a very, very low carbohydrate diet, period. That's what it is. That's what makes a diet ketogenic. That's what makes your body start producing ketones. And it's, it's what makes your body shift from having a metabolism that's based mostly on glucose to one that's based mostly on burning fat and you produce ketones as a byproduct of metabolizing fat. And that's all there is to keto. Keto does not work because of magical ratios of protein, fat, and carbs. It doesn't work because you're avoiding regular supermarket ranch dressing. It doesn't work because you're using uh, only grass-fed and finished meats. What flips the biochemical switches, what makes all the good things happen, what brings down the blood sugar and brings down the insulin, which is, why all the amazing health benefits of keto happen, what makes that happen is the very low carbohydrate intake. So that is the place to start. If you want to tinker with any of these other things, you can, but that's sort of like the graduate level course. That's not the beginner course. When you're just starting out, you just have to master the basics. And the good news is there's only one basic and it's keep your carb intake really low. My favorite electrolyte product from Keto Chow is the Daily Minerals, and not just because it has Ken Berry's face on it. I really enjoy the Daily Minerals because I think it's a very convenient and easy way to cover a lot of bases. And if you look at the label, that is packed 
with certain minerals that are kind of hard to get on a keto diet, depending on what you eat. What I normally do is I just have a big water bottle that I flavor with either a liquid crystal light or Mio drops, or you could use whatever type of water flavoring you like, add that uh, liquid daily minerals and you're good to go.